My journey began in 2015 as a junior software developer. A few years later, I progressed as a senior software developer. A milestone once I thought was completely out of my reach. Now let me take back for a moment. Imagine a time frame where there is no YouTube, no ChatGPT and no online courses for your guidance. It sounds pretty unthinkable today, right? But there was the fact for many developers living between 2010 and 2013. At that time, every mistake I have made felt like hitting a dead end and every bit of progress was painfully slow. So today I will share all of my learnings from my story, from the story full of lessons and all of the breakthroughs that shaped my journey as a senior software developer. Now the question is how do you become a senior software developer? What is the first step then? Well, the first step is to be a junior developer first. I know it may sound simple for many of you, but let me tell you one thing. After getting the junior developer role, what comes next is even 10x harder than the first one because there is no fixed guideline, there is no training, and there is no fixed mentorship of becoming a senior developer from a junior developer role. Now the question is, how do you set yourself apart and grow from there? Well, it's like a game where you have a jungle to explore. And in this jungle, maybe Many will get lost by setting themselves in the traps. Speaking about the trap, the common formats are Number 1. Depending solely on office experience only and trusting that promotions will come eventually. Secondly, burning out yourself by thinking that hard work will eventually get noticed and you will get promotion to a senior developer role. And the last one is even scary. That is sticking to a single skill set. That means if you are a React developer doing React for a longer period of time and touching no other technologies, if you are a backend developer only sticking to a framework for longer period of time and taking no other technologies for learning. So these three are the major traps. That's why the junior developers will fail to reach to a senior developer role in the near future. Yes, this is the harsh truth that even if you are doing the hard work, but none of these hardworking factors will help you to get the senior developer role. That's for sure. While you are being in this situation, you will see that many of your friends and many of your colleagues will eventually be a senior software developer because they know the smarter way to crack the deal, to know how to be it. But there is a single difference between you being as a junior developer and your colleague being as a senior developer who already gets all of the promotions and all of the career growth. The single thing is intentional learning. That intentional learning will eventually help you to gain new set of skills, experience and knowledge set that will finally push you to get a senior software developer role. But how do you do this intentional learning? Well, you need to plan a step-by-step -step guideline for your own career growth. You need to select a very big plan and to achieve that, you will have to slice them and make small chunks so that they are achievable and they are doable in a short period of time. What I do intentionally is I break down a whole year into three major segments. And after that, I inject intentional learning in all of the three segments. The intentional learning topics can be any new frameworks, any new technologies, technologies, any new trendy technical tools or topics that can help you eventually get the senior developer role. So that's one thing. But while doing so, watch your time. Don't stretch too far. Set clear expectations. Grow slow but consistently. But at the same time, keep in mind that intentional learning should reflect on your year-long career growth plan. Well, even after having this solid plan for the year, many of us fail to achieve the goal. But my question is why? Well, because some of the developers will choose a different path to gain this kind of experience. They will do some extra work after office. They will find some freelancing work. And some of them will even do a startup after their long hectic office work. Well, I'm not saying that this will not help them to be a senior software developer role, but my finding from the reality is quite different. The reality is that success in these ventures is rare unless your timing, luck and market condition all of them falls in the places. Now what I'm saying is that instead of doing this risky thing which can cost you 10x amount of money or even that can lead you to burnout condition and you will be stressed throughout the day and night. What I'm saying is that what you're doing already in the office work here you can apply three major strategies to be a senior developer from the junior one very very fast. Point number one is take ownership ownership of what you do, 
ownership of what you can't do also. Taking ownership means taking the full accountability of your work. It means that even if your teammate fails, even if your project deadline fails, you should own it and you should be the man who can explain the delay or the mistakes or any bug introduction into your system. You should be in charge of that. That will help you to grow a senior one and that will help you to be a leader in the near future. The first leader's quality is accountability and the second one is he is a born mentor. And here comes my second most important tips is be a mentor. Be a mentor to the junior developer you meet. Be a mentor to your junior teammates. Be a mentor to anyone they need help to learn any topic that can be technical and that can be anything related to your domain expertise and career. So that will help you eventually be a good leader in the near future and leadership quality is the first and most important thing of a senior software developer. And the last most important tip that I can give you is that start writing blogs. Start documenting your technical learning journey. So what you will do, whatever you are doing in the intentional learning phase from these three major segments that you have drafted for yourself for 12 months, what you will do, whatever you learn on those intentional learning phases, try to make them as YouTube video, try to make blogs and for sure public them on LinkedIn, Medium, your Facebook, socials, try to post those into your own website also. This will not only build your personal brand, but also will position you as an expert in your field, which in return will help you to get the next big role as a senior software developer.